the medium of games has continued to amaze legions of fans with jaw-dropping vistas for decades at this point. Whether it's the sheer scale or the micro-detailing in the environments, games have been at the forefront of rendering technology for a long time now. To that effect, today we'll take a look back at the history of this medium with 15 such amazing moments. Metal Gear Solid 2 E3 2000 Showcase Konami's Metal Gear Solid burst onto the scene in 1998 and immediately wowed gamers with its twisted yet engaging plot lines. Tactical espionage action and, of course, the memorable boss fights. Fans waited with bated breath for a good look at its sequel, and Konami delivered it with Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty during its E3 2000 presentation. Gamers across the globe were stunned by the sheer graphical powerhouse that was MGS2. From the massive scale of the world, to the all-time realistic facial models of characters, to the rain-soaked environments, there was no shortage of impressive graphics in the trailer which finally ends with the much-anticipated 2001 release date. The Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 Demo When a world we can build feels as real as our own. Epic Games' Unreal Engine has been at the forefront of modern rendering techniques for some time now, and its latest iteration, the Unreal Engine 5, is no different. The Matrix Awakens is a tech demo built to showcase the sheer graphical powerhouse that is Unreal Engine 5. It's almost impossible for an uninitiated eye to determine if it's a movie or a game during select sequences. The Matrix Awakens makes full use of UE5's feature set including, but not limited to, the Lumen lighting system, ray tracing, metahuman toolbox, nanite, and so much more. What's more impressive is the fact that interested fans can download the game for free and enjoy those high-fidelity visuals on current-gen consoles. Stepping into Mexico, Red Dead Redemption Rockstar Games' Red Dead Redemption boasts one of the most iconic horse-riding sequences in gaming, as players venture forth into the land of Mexico as protagonist John Marston. What makes this ride so special is Jose Gonzalez's faraway setting, a perfect tone for the forthcoming adventure, all while you soak in the beautiful and almost picturesque environments. As you start to inch closer and closer, you start to see the first signs of modern American civilization, such as railway tracks and bridges, which then finally lead you to reaching the gates with a spirit of vengeance against John's former Vanderlind gang members. Fun fact, John Marston always wanted to go to Mexico, and players can actually listen to him saying this to Javier in an optional camp conversation in Red Dead Redemption 2. Killzone 2 E3 2005 trailer E3 2005 was all about what awaited gamers in the seventh generation of consoles, and there was perhaps no better looking trailer than Guerrilla Games' Killzone 2 on the show floor. The trailer showcased high-resolution assets, immaculately detailed facial animations, dense explosions, all set against a massive cityscape on the brink of destruction, which undoubtedly got legions of fans excited for Sony's next-gen machine. However, the trailer wasn't exactly a real demonstration of the final product, rather a pre-rendered sequence that wasn't even made using the game's engine. It was the subject of many controversies back in the day, and still stands tall as one of the most misleading game trailers of all time. Watch Dogs E3 2012 Gameplay Trailer Another instance of smoking mirrors at the E3 showcase, Watch Dogs was looking to be one of the most impressive showcases of 8th generation consoles. Its E3 2012 trailer showcases some impressive high-resolution reflections, facial textures, and other computationally expensive post-processing techniques which caught the attention of many gamers. However, the final product we got was significantly downgraded, and even the maxed-out PC version cannot match the level of visual fidelity the trailer boasted. God of War 2018 – Meeting the World Serpent Stay calm, boy! I am! This is great! 
Sony Santa Monica's God of War 2018 is a memorable ride through the many realms of Norse mythology, but perhaps no other sequence is as iconic as the first appearance of the World Serpent. As Kratos and Atreus venture forth in the Lake of Nine, the duo comes across a rune asking to throw one's weapon into the water to see the cradle of the lake emerge from its depths. Upon throwing his leviathan axe, players first get a sneak peek at the serpent as its body starts to move beyond the mountains, which are followed by his arrival that shakes the entire arena. Finally, players get a good look at the majestic, gargantuan, and the scary world serpent, one of the last remaining Jotuns. This scene sets the tone of the sheer scale of the world and the kind of obstacles the father and son duo will come across during their travels to Jotunheim's highest peak. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves The Train Sequence Naughty Dog's Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is best known for having one of the most iconic starts to a video game. Series protagonist Nathan Drake finds himself stranded on the hanging wreckage of a train in the mountains all while having been shot in the stomach, and players have to clamber up to the top of the train coach to make it to the surface. Naughty Dog's mastery of the PS3 hardware is in full force here, as the environments are brimming with detail that makes the scene a treat for the eyes. It also sets the tone of the sheer scale and intensity of the set pieces players will be encountering for the rest of the adventure. Marvel's Spider-Man Swinging for the First Time The friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is no stranger to video game outings, although very few games have managed to capture the feeling of swinging across New York skyscrapers. Insomniac Games' developed Marvel's Spider-Man is inarguably one of the, if not the best incarnations, of the superhero in video game form. Thus, it stands to reason that swinging through picturesque vistas for the first time in this immaculately detailed open world is its most iconic moment. There's almost an element of personal expression in the act of swinging, as players make a ton of micro-decisions in how they want to traverse the game's open world, using the bevy of parkour moves at one's disposal. Gears of War – Mad World Trailer while Microsoft's Xbox 360 had its fair share of problems, looking at you, Red Ring of Death, it was home to some of the best IPs that have come to define the Xbox platform, such as the likes of Forza Horizon and Gears of War. The latter's most iconic and graphically jaw-dropping moment has to be its Mad World trailer, which showcases protagonist Marcus Phoenix running around the dystopian environments in a last-ditch effort to save humanity from the locusts. Of course, a lot of this trailer's appeal can be credited to the incredibly somber and melancholic tunes of Mad World by Gary Jules. This trailer is so iconic and paramount to the game's immediate success that the Coalition remade the entire trailer ahead of Gears of War Ultimate Edition's release in 2015. Riding in Rain in Ride 4 Racing games are known to have some excellent state-of-the-art visuals, and developer Milestone's Ride 4 is no different in this regard. Recently, a clip of a player racing during rain went viral on social media on account of looking absolutely breathtaking. Legions of fans debated whether this is actual footage of a bike race or a video game. From the aptly shaky first-person camera to the incredible rain effects to the pristine-looking environment, there's no shortage of subtle graphical touches that make this game a treat for the eyes. Ride 4 released in 2020 and still manages to wow us to this date, and we cannot wait to see Milestone outdoing itself in imminent sequels. Drive Club's Rain Effects Evolution Studios' Drive Club is certainly a visual powerhouse, with striking attention to detail in car models, environments, and most impressively, weather effects. The game employs a detailed physics system for its rain with each raindrop having its own independent physics calculations using a branch of variables, like the wind and acceleration, that ultimately dictate its direction. In a similar vein, there's also a lot of detail in how those particles dry up, either naturally or through the wiper on the car's windshield. All of this culminates to give Drive Club a pristine presentation. That's an absolute treat for the eyeballs to gorge on. Intel Photorealism Enhancement Project the Intel Photorealism Enhancement Project, at its core, is a very sophisticated machine learning program 
that takes frames of a game as an input and tries to retouch those frames using real-life image assets of cityscapes to give it a more photorealistic look. A demo of this technology was shown last year with Grand Theft Auto V to some rather stunning results, and surprisingly, the game was able to maintain a decent level of real-time performance. Of course, the technology isn't consumer-ready just yet, but it does provide a sneak peek into how technology might influence the future of gaming graphics. Siren Real-Time Performance Siren Real-Time Performance is yet another tech demo produced using Unreal Engine, with an aim to push boundaries of creating a lifelike human being with real-time rendering techniques, Siren's poly counts are so ridiculously high that it might even pass as pre-rendered CGI. Add to that some fantastic spot-on motion capture and great lighting, and Siren is easily one of the most impressive graphics tech demos of recent memory. Janimation VFX Tech Demo while this Janimation-produced VFX tech demo might not look the most impressive by modern graphics standards, it was certainly a looker almost a decade ago. This demo of facial motion capture technology wowed gamers back in the day with its subtle details, such as the high poly count facial model, and how realistically those meshes react to the changes in the character's expressions. This tech demo also gives a sneak peek at how this technology is actually implemented, from capturing these movements to the numerous processes it undergoes, before finally producing a result in engine. Ghost of Tsushima Opening Sequence Sucker Punch Productions' Ghost of Tsushima is a visual masterpiece through and through, and its opening title card sequence is perhaps the epitome of this art-driven beauty. The sequence starts with protagonist Jin Sakai riding his horse through the bamboo forest into a large field of white flowers, all while the music majestically ramps up intensity as the game's title card comes into view. It masterfully flows the photography rule of thirds by adjusting the camera to an angle where the stunning environment is the focus of the shot. Of course, other minute details such as Jin lowering his hands to get a feel of the flowers is what ultimately makes this sequence so memorable. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.